launching nuclear bombs into the atmosphere just to see what it would do. So these people are not above spraying particles into the air just to see what it would do. <laughs> right. I mean, this has been going on for decades. And they talk about the Chinese doing it and the Russians, but they're all doing it. And the HARP system here, uh, th this was David Walker. He's the Deputy Assistant Secretary of the Air Force for Science, Technology, and Engineering. And he was the one who act actually dropped this bombshell uh, he was asked by Lisa Murkowski about, I mean, they were dismantling the HARP program there in, in Alaska. And so he was basically admitting, yeah, we've, we've done everything we need to do with HARP. We're still leaving it up for whoever else might want to use it and do their own testing. Uh, but we used it for injecting energy into the ionosphere to be able to actually control it. But that work's been completed. They're done with it now. So, you know, and they kind of put it off like, ah, we, you know, we messed around with HARP, but it wasn't really anything that we were... No. And then they talk about all these different um, wave blast simulators and these weapons that they're using underwater what, that could actually cause tsunamis and things like this. But it's for, the, it's for global warming. It's and instead of looking it. at things like, you know, real pollution that is going on, mm -hmm. you, you know, like putting fluoride in the water supply, you're just taking a pollutant and dumping it in the water supply for everybody to ingest. Those things are looked at also as you're crazy, you're a conspiracy theorist. But, you know, we're talking about carbon things. What we exhale and what plants breathe is the big pollutant in this area. Right. So the Pope's got to ride around in a Fiat, his little uh, clown car. <laughs> but, you know, here's another article from The Guardian, geoengineering product, uh, projects around the world. It's a whole map of projects that are currently ongoing. Well, this is in 2012, but projects that are ongoing to change the environment, to geoengineer the environment. And so you can't say this stuff doesn't exist. People are doing it in many different ways. Right. It's not just spraying stuff in, in, in the clouds. Right. And it's funny because uh, Michio Kaku in that, in that uh, interview, he talks about how, you know, in the future, if you on your wedding day, you want to have a clear day, you'll be able to use this technology. You know, it'll probably cost you a hundred something thousand dollars to ensure no rain. Can you imagine if there's just a bunch of people running around thinking that they need to have a rain here and then of course if there is an issue with the drought like they're having in california you know why they don't they have them? 2000 clear days <laughs> you know they're right but but that you know that they're they've got it under control though they're going to put black balls on top of their reservoir <laughs> to right. absorb heat and make it evaporate faster and grow mold <laughs> and 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 fungus is going to grow under these things <laughs> and, you know the Israelis did the same thing, but they did it with white balls. Right. And they said the white balls are the way to go, and they actually have them. It was a pretty interesting article. They, uh, the balls had holes in them, so water would fill in them, so they would kind of sit in the water. But the water would condensate, it evaporate to the top, and then condensate immediately. So there was no, I mean, less water loss than what you would normally have through evaporation. Right. Well, and then what about the fact that there's plastic leaching into the water from the hot sun beating down on it? Yeah, I, mean, I guess they don't care about not... these gender bending chemicals going <laughs> in, into the water at all. That must that, that's probably they're probably coated with BPA. I mean, who knows? These things are probably made out of solid coated BPA nodules. Right? They're like this will ridiculous. just bypass the middleman. Now we won't have to pay our plastic makers to <laughs> inject these hormones, the BPH. But yeah, you know, I had a one of the uh, writers from BuzzFeed kind of retweeted me when I was talking about how Kylie Jenner. She tweeted out to all of her, you know, millions of Twitter followers this question about geoengineering and look up in the sky and what is this? And of course, that was the ultimate opportunity for for the mainstream media or whatever alternative <laughs> mainstream. I don't wouldn't call them BuzzFeed mainstream, um, but they, you know, for them to just poke fun at us and say, "Oh, look, look at their spring," and you know, this is happening. It's real. Why, why is it so hard for them to just do a little research? Just like this reporter that made fun of Dane Wigington telling yeah. him he sounded crazy. And let me tell you, That's Dane, his job. Dane's even saying that the stuff they're spraying is helping keep these fires going in the West, too. And the fires are out of control right now. Yeah. So who knows? We're going to get him on the show pretty soon to, uh, to talk about this and break it all down. So. All right. Well, we've got a lot more coming up. We're going to talk about the uh, Pope and the 2030 UN agenda and how he ties into that. And welcome back. You are listening to the fourth hour overdrive of the Alex Jones Show. If you want to watch us, go to infowars.com forward slash show where you can see everything that's going on. You can watch the reports in their full visual effect. Now, we're going to be getting to some of your phone calls here and shortly. You know what, though? Let me interrupt. Oh, you're, going oh. to want to stay, you're going to want to get on Infowars.com forward slash show for the second half of the Overdrive Hour because we're going to play a couple reports, <laughs> one of which is Alex Jones, where he 
kind of channeled the madness that is going on with uh. people uh, legitimizing pedophilia. If you haven't seen it on the Al, um, on the uh, <laughs> on the Alex Jones channel or on Infowars, we have it posted today. We're going to show part of it at least. And disclaimer, there should be a trigger warning for all of you people out there that are offended by sensitive material. People who don't like clowns. It's shocking, tune in. but it's reality. So that's coming up. Uh, that's Infowars.com forward slash show. Now we're going to be getting to your phone calls, Trisha in Oregon and Adam, FEMA Region 4. Uh, but first, let's talk about some of the amazing specials that we still have going on. We had some top-notch specials going on all during our money bomb but now we have some holdover from that so that's right do yeah. you want to talk about some sure uh right now we're, we have 20 percent off brain force and dna force and dna force just came back in stock and so to you know let everybody know it's back in stock 20 percent off i mean dna force is really like the cadillac of products to for your cells brain force is going to give you that energy that you're looking for and clarity mm -hmm. without you know clouding up your mind or making you super hyper you know a lot of people here yeah. are taking that on in, in the office and really like it and uh it's not like a, a you know an energy drink high right. where you're just going to be like all jittery it really gives you focused attention and also you know for kids uh with that same problem of becoming focused a lot of parents have been using childies and that was out of stock and now it's back uh, I gave uh, a couple bottles to some friends of mine. Sometimes I give it to my kids. My kids uh, are on a low sugar diet, so they're, they're not too uh, too crazy. But every once in a while, I might slip them a little child ease here. Hey, guys, yeah. take some of this. And <laughs> it calms them down, gets them focused. And they're not as interested in uh, in watching TV or looking at the phones or whatever. You know, they, they get interested in, like, drawing and building Legos and stuff. So it really right. does, you know, it's been helping, you know, my kids. I don't give it to them every day, but, you know, on those... Uh, those hard days <laughs> with the kids, Everything you know, it's always it. good yeah. to have childies in the cabinet. So I encourage you to check that out. And also uh, on October 1st, that's next week, InfoWars Select, we're going to be ending those specials. So you definitely want to stock up on your food items if you're uh, lacking in that department. Um, I am stocked up. I got so stocked up, I passed some off to some relatives. Just so I'm like, here, you take some <laughs> of this. I don't have room for yeah, it. Yeah, well, they say, the, what is it, the 23rd, that's today. Today's the day. So but, that's you know. The Pope and the Obama are people always converging. Say, yeah, we had somebody call in and said November 15th is going to be the day that the sun's blacked out for right. 15 days. That's not the stuff we're talking about. We're talking about, <laughs> hey, what if you have an earthquake in your area? Right. Or what if a hurricane hits your area and you're blocked off? Um, it's I lived just a different through, form of uh, life insurance. Yeah, I lived through uh, Hurricane Rita that hit the uh, western side of Louisiana. Not as popular as as uh, not as populous as New Orleans, but still, there were homes without power for weeks. And we had food. They also had the National Guard giving out food, but you had to go stand in their line and play by their rules. Right. There were churches that were doing food, but we also had our own food with us. So you have to take care of yourself because you can't take care of anybody if you can't take care of yourself. Right. So. Well, InfoWarsSelect.com. Excellent. Well, let's go ahead and we got about one minute. Let's yeah. take one phone call. Trisha from Oregon, go ahead. Oh, my gosh. Hi, guys. Hello. Um, you, I must start by saying you guys are amazing. Thank you for what you do. Um, but I want to get to the point. Um, I live in Oregon. I see chemtrails every day. I take pictures every day. Um, there's a gentleman on YouTube. It's called The Harp Report. He um, puts reports out like every month or so. Um, he has special satellite equipment. He shows you global infrared um, every little bit of at a time. And if just a normal average person looks at it for more than five minutes can see blatantly what they're doing to the West Coast. Right. You're absolutely right, Trisha. Thank you. There is so much evidence out there online. We've interviewed people where they were, uh, they had documented all of these silks falling from the sky, getting video. There's planes flying above and all of these silk threads are then covering yeah. their property, covering it. Oregon is a beautiful state too, but it yeah. is being systematically destroyed with what is going on. And 10 years from now, if you take a snapshot now and then you take the same snapshot 10 years from now, you're going to see some major changes, some major deforestation, but not from log cutting. You're just going to see it from dying trees, which they blame on a beetle. You know, yeah. oh, it's always the beetle. <laughs> you know, it's, no, it's not anything else. It's just this one beetle that's taking everything down. And that seems to be, you know, their uh, their cover story. 
for everything. It's never the cause of people spraying things in the atmosphere that or geoengineering, which is admitted around the world. Right. Yeah, please. You sound like a conspiracy theorist right now. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, coming up more on the Pope and the 2030 agenda blueprint for a new world order. I mean, he's there with the president and they are definitely uh, March. ramping this up in overdrive. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. You're listening to the Fourth Hour Overdrive, and I am Leanne McAdoo. Now, let's talk about some of the stories that are up on the Drudge Report today. We are once again witnessing the exploitation of a tragedy to advance the surveillance state. Now, we have iris scanners being implemented on school buses uh, after a student's death. Now, there was an autistic boy. Uh, he apparently wasn't able to speak. So he was left, forgotten about, uh, he was left to die on a, on a school bus. It was parked in a district parking lot. So now a nearby school district is going to be using biometric iris scanners on these special needs buses to prevent tragedies like this one from happening in the future. So every time the students get on or off the bus, they're going to have their iris scanned. And then that way it'll send an alert to the bus driver to let them know that the the child is is on the bus and that they've exited the bus and then if you know at the end of the night at the end of the route uh, they can make sure that all of the people have been checked out so of course you know they're saying that they're going to be rolling this out now for your children's safety and the president of the uh, ira trans system points out how this is a um, something that's happening in epic proportions nationally that there's kids are falling asleep or they're getting lost and so they're really selling this to parents as you know it's for their safety and of course that's the exact same thing they did in the past with these implantable uh, ID, um, implantable microchips so now you'll recall that in 2013 they already tried to roll this out without parents permission they already started scanning children's irises without parental consent a lot of people were really mad and they said oh well, we sent you a letter telling you you could opt out uh, which you know that turned out to just enrage a lot of parents well think about this they're getting these kids i mean even universities and, and elementary schools now are using biometric information in lieu of IDs. And so they're getting all of your children's biometric information stored in a database for your safety. But now let's look at another story. I mean, this is the federal government who can't even keep control over their own highly sensitive information. So we learned about the one of the largest hacks in, in history here that just happened a few months ago with the government there at the Office of Personnel Management. More than 20 million people, top secret clearance, had their information stolen from them. One of the victims uh, wrote that the, the Office of per Personnel Management is the agency that asks your neighbors what they know about you that could be used to blackmail you. So <laughs> this is the type of top secret sensitive information that that, that was hacked into. Well, it also turns out that includes uh, fingerprints. And, you know, I previously reported how easily your fingerprints could be used to frame you. Uh, they can make a, a mold of your fingerprints. They could use this in phones or anything where you have to actually scan in with your fingerprints. Um, so, you know, that perfectly safe for the government to hold on to all of your children's biometric information. Um, but now check this out. This is a story at Infowars.com, also up on the Drudge Report. FBI is merging criminal and civil fingerprint database. So now, you know, the FBI, they've always said that they, they didn't have any interest in, you know, keeping those fingerprints that your employers scan or that, you know, I had to put my fingerprints in order to get an ID here in Texas. But now all of that has changed. The FBI is going to be merging fingerprints and biographical information. Um, they're going to be taking all of that and putting it in their government database. This is according to the Electronic Frontier Foundation. And the EFF believes that this change is part of an ever-growing movement toward cataloging information on everyone in America. And it's a movement that won't end with fingerprints. So is this more about safety for your children or pre-crime or is it about controlling a populace, especially when we're seeing more and more civil unrest and people pretty upset about the fact that they are uh, living in a police state and now living in a technocratic police state. But they're gonna sell you this idea that they're not 
they're not using it for any nefarious means and it's totally okay and in fact just a few months ago uh, the NSA was told they needed to shut shut everything down because it was violating our constitutional rights and so you know they went off with their tail between their legs saying we're gonna shut it all down but of course they're gonna hold